Hello, everybody. Welcome to my Linux show. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build your own uh, custom build of the Vim text editor. Um, and I'm going to show you how to build it on the PlayStation 3 running Fedora Linux. Um, that's my PlayStation 3. Uh, it's jailbroken and um, uh, downgraded so that I can uh, run other OS and I use it as a, a Linux server. Uh, however, um, the Fedora that's compatible with it is Fedora 12 and Fedora 12 is pretty old. So um, one of my favorite pastimes is upgrading and uh, modernizing the uh, software uh, that I use on pretty much a daily basis on my PlayStation 3. Uh, and that includes Vim. So um, I'm going to log in to my PS3 over SSH. Now I have a source code directory where I keep all my source code archives that um, I'm building or working working on. And uh, here is uh, the Vim. Uh, this is actually the um, a archive of uh, the clone of the GitHub um, repository for Vim. I cloned that today. So it's uh, it's really is brand spanking new. I'm going to uh, open up the archive here. Uh, it's um it's a pretty big archive. It's got a lot of files in it. <laughs> uh, Vim is a pretty big project. Um. It's got a lot of source code files and uh, resource files. Um, the uh, Vim GitHub is here. And uh, to clone it, just make sure that you have uh, Git installed and copy this URL here. And uh, if you have git installed, then you just type uh, git uh, clone and then paste that URL and you're in business. Um, I actually uh, currently can't, uh, can't use git on my um, PlayStation 3. It's installed, but the, um, the SSL libraries that it uses are too old, so it can't uh, communicate with, uh, you know, uh, with, uh, modern security. Um, so yeah, I can't connect to, uh, GitHub from my PS3. Um, at least not at the moment. Um, I have to, uh, build a new, um, a new, uh, Git, uh, application, which I just haven't done it yet. Um, Ah, there we are. Wow, that was a big archive. Anyway, so um, now we will have a new a new directory uh, called Vim. Um, see, there it is. I'm gonna switch over to that directory, and. Okay, here is the contents of the uh, Vim repository uh, directory. There is a configure script, so that's what we're going to run. Uh, we're going to run it with the uh, help option so that we can see uh, what kind of options are available for um, you know, for us to build 
into the final uh, binary. Um, as usual, uh, our first uh, option that we're going to select is prefix. Um, so we're going to run configure. I'm going to set the prefix to slash USR slash local. And that's going to be the uh, top level directory where um, we want the installation to occur. Um, you know, that's where our files are all going to be copied um, after we build uh, the project. Um, now, to be totally honest, uh, you could probably um, get away with not setting any of these, and the configure script is smart enough that it will find uh, it will find what it's looking for on your system uh, without your help. But um, I like to micromanage. <laughs> um, I like to micromanage the configuration, so I'm actually going to. Um, I'm actually going to fill in a lot of these um, options. Uh, X includes are in uh, this directory. And we're going to put X libraries. And those are in that directory. Okay, look at all the options, there's so many. Uh, I always put this one. It'll fail if anything, if anything goes wrong. Um, let's see, I'm not on a Macintosh, so we can lose that. And I don't use SE Linux on my PS3, so that can go. Um, let's see, if you run into any options that you, you know, you don't know what they are, or, you know, you don't know what they do, you know, you're, it's always safe just to, you know, just to leave it alone, leave it out, you know, only, only select the ones that, um, you know, that it's obvious that you're gonna, um, that you're gonna want. Um, so you can take out uh, support for any like languages that you're not going to use, and, uh, and and that way you can make your binary a little bit smaller, uh, with less code in there that you're you're not going to use. Uh, here is the where you tell it to build the GUI. Um, I do use the GNOME uh, desktop environment on my PS3, so it will enable GNOME. And I don't use the GPM terminal mouse driver, so... We can turn that off. Uh, let's see, most of these other options uh, I'm just going to le leave alone. Um, add my name in here. Compiled by the model citizen. And. Let's see, I do have uh, Python 2 on this system, so we can do that option. Uh, no Python 3, not at the moment. 
X is my windowing system. Um, and that's it. That should be good for the uh, normal options. Now our compiler flags. Um, I'm going to uh, put in some op optimizations for the PlayStation 3. That's telling the compiler that it's building for the cell broadband engine. That's the uh, processor of the PS3. It's more or less equivalent to a, uh, a Power Mac G5, basically. It does have special accelerators, though, but they're kind of irrelevant for this build because um, this code isn't going to uh, make any use of them. going to set our uh, a directory for our linker to make sure to examine for libraries. And also our C preprocessor. Uh, I'm going to set a place for it to search for uh, includes, include files, headers. Um, all right, yeah, that should be, uh, that should be a good uh, configuration. Uh, command. So we'll just let that run. Uh, the configure script is checking my PlayStation 3 system, making sure that um, you know I've got all the resources that it requires to uh, do the uh, to compile the uh, Vim program. Uh, the GitHub page for Vim is here. Um, and uh, to clone it, you just hit this green button and copy this URL. And make sure that you have Git uh, installed because Git will clone this repository. Just type Git clone and then that URL and you're in business. Okay, our configuration is done. Now we're going to run uh, the make utility. And I'm going to tell it to do two jobs at once because that'll speed things up a little bit. And this will build our binaries. Well, our, our binary. In the meantime, about some uh, program building music. This is one of my own videos.
song was too short. <laughs> it's still building. Um, hmm. Here's a good song.
And there you have it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Were you watching? Um, okay. Our brand new latest and greatest FIM uh, is now built and installed on my PlayStation 3. If I run which FIM, see, there it is. There's the directory that we told it to install. And it put itself in the binary uh, directory. Now, if you're wondering, you know, whatever happened to um, the old Vim that was on the system already, um, well, it's actually still there. Um, There it is. This is the original Vim that was that came with my distribution, um, and this is the one that will get run if we run Vim, Vim from the command line. And the reason for that is because um, if you check out my path, your path variable gets read from from left to right, and, and from the, in this case from top to bottom. So when Bash goes looking for a program that you tell it to run, it's going to start here in this directory, and it's going to search these directories from left to right until it gets to the last one. Um, so that's why you install in USR slash local. You just make sure that the USR slash local slash bin make sure that that directory is to the left of your usr slash bin directory uh, in your path. So that way uh, bash will uh, always find your um, your newer version, the one that you built, it'll, the software that you compiled yourself, it'll always find that, that software first. Um, but the old, the old vim is still there, you know. It just won't get used anymore. Um, let's run. Let's run Vim and see how it looks. Let me show you my uh, my VimRC file. There we go. That's nice. That's a brand new Vim. Um, if you're wondering what my um, my Vim uh, settings are. This is this is them right here. Um, nothing fancy. It's a you know it's just a regular VimRC file. So um, if you search Google, you know for VimRC, uh, these are all the like most often suggested um, settings for your Vim. So um, I guess that's it for this video. Um, uh, we've got our Vim and everything installed, and it's working, and uh, all is right with the world. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe, uh, you know, if you're inclined to do so. And don't forget to visit my website, ps3linux.net, for all your PS3 Linux needs. Have a good day.